say bitch! We appreciate you coming. I know you can't wait to leave up before you do. I want you to look around the room and see the person that's sitting to your right. Once you've done the right, then look to the left and see the person that's sitting to your left. These are the folks, if you're students, you're the, you're the ones who really make best worthwhile. If you're a parent, you're the ones who put the backbone in what we do. Without you, we couldn't do it. So all the students in this room, I'm sure you'll be too happy to indulge when I ask you to put your hands together and thank you. Pip. Thank you time. Put up with you. A lot of you don't want to come. I know this from experience. May I have a good name, but y'all know it, sir. Parents have to fight with you to get here, but once you get here, you realize how good it is. Then you're like, Mom, I don't really appreciate it. Not only do I get a computer, which is waiting to go out with you, you know, in a minute, but you're also getting a chance to learn. I just want to tell you, we're starting our next program next Tuesday in Merritt Place, Homestead, uh, Florida City. We do need your support. Uh, we have kids in that neighborhood who are looking forward to the same things you're getting right here, right now. I trust that every parent in the room, at some point, or guardian, at least gave us the opportunity to reach out to you to stay in touch, not only say thank you, but to also ask for your involvement. If you haven't put your name and phone number on the stage, I'm sure you want to do that right now so that you'll help us to keep this program afloat. It doesn't take a whole lot, but it does take your involvement. Has everyone signed? Somebody has my pen somewhere. May I, Andre, you have my pen? Everyone else signed your name to the uh, signing sheet? Alright. While we're doing that, I don't want to keep you waiting. We have some snacks in the back. Folks took the time to you know prepare to bring it here. I invite you to come eat with us. Uh, say hi to your neighbor. Get to know the person who's sitting beside you. <laughs> don't just make a mad dash to take a computer to your car. <laughs> but take a minute. Please, I invite you. The food is good. And then
Uh uh, he got that right, but he's going back. You know he's going back. He's going back. Okay. Oh, camera. Oh, sorry. Big ball. 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 Big I get another picture. Hold on. Thanks, man. I should go on YouTube then. All right. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. One more time. Do it again. Do it again. All right, all right. Oh, I ain't gonna hold it. Can I have your attention for a minute, please? Yes. I know the food is good. It's wonderful. I've heard wonderful comments. I want to tell you thanks for the folks. Adobe CS uh, um, Suite, which has Dreamweaver, Flash, and Photoshop. That's the tools that we gave our kids training on. And for the folks who know the quality and the worth of those software, go and try to buy it online. The software itself costs you at least $1,500 for the packet. And your kids are walking out with that as just a part of what's installed in the unit. And better than that, these kids are programmers. Before we had the machines in the room, we were teaching them to program on pen and paper. So they know HTML code. They could write on blank paper. If you drop them in the middle of the desert and say, build me a website, they can take a paper and write the script from start to end. How to actually insert video on a page, how to insert uh, images on a page, how to add text, how to change colors. And of course, they take practice because that's kind of stuff. Once you learn, if you don't practice, you're going to lose it. So when they take home the machine, insist that I heard somebody here, uh, where is And of course, they're going to play solitaire. <laughs> insist on them that they don't play games, but they program. That's how they refresh and make sure that they keep the skills that they've learned here. That's good, yeah. And I told you, this is about making your kids work with something other than just saying, I have a job and some fast food joint. They can make good.